Craftery by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a glow-in-the-dark moon to learn all about America's Apollo space missions that landed on the moon. Oh, we've got a question. Is America the only country that's landed on the moon? That's a great question. The answer is yes. America is the only country that's landed humans on the moon and gotten them back home to Earth safely. There are six American flags on the moon, one for every successful mission that landed there. Here's what you'll need for today's craft. Paper plates, shaving cream, glow-in-the-dark paint, white glue, a paint sponge, one third cup and one cup measuring cups, and scissors. Before we get started, here's the story of how America landed a total of 12 astronauts on the moon. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy declared a new goal for the United States, to land a man on the moon by the year 1970. Now, at that time, the U.S. was in competition with the Soviet Union, a communist country. President Kennedy wanted to race them to the moon to show that freedom in America allowed for more success than communism. The race to the moon was called Project Apollo, named after the Greek god of the sun and light. Want to get started on making our moon? So these plates are going to serve as our moon. And what you can do is a full moon or a half moon or a crescent, whatever you want. We're set with the full moon. Set that aside. And if you want, you can trace it. I'm just sort of going to see how it goes. Let's make a crescent. Waxing, waning. What are the different phases of the moon? <laughs> There's a crescent. Good, right? Yes? Let's make some more. Half moon, half moon. We'll do one more, just for fun. It's a good lesson to learn the phases of the moon. Back to Project Apollo. The Apollo spacecraft was launched on a Saturn V rocket that weighed about as much as 400 elephants and traveled to the moon at a speed of about six miles per second. Here are some of the highlights from Project Apollo that happened between 1968 and 1972. Let's learn about them in three, two, one. Apollo 8, December 1968, the first manned mission to orbit the moon. Apollo 11, July 1969, the first manned mission to land on the moon. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed their lunar module named Eagle and walked on the moon. Armstrong famously said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And people watched it happen on TV. Apollo 13, April 1970. This mission was not able to land on the moon because of an explosion in space, so the astronauts returned home. Apollo 15, summer of 1971, the first moon mission that astronauts drove the lunar roving vehicle. Many count this as the first car on the moon. And Apollo 17, December 1972, the last manned mission to land on the moon. Commander Gene Cernan was the last person to walk on the moon. You got all that? Whew! Okay, good. Now, for the fun part. Let's make our glow-in-the-dark puffy paint. Take your shaving cream, shake it up. You're gonna put one cup shaving cream into a container. Here we go. This is so fun. Oh, there we go. One cup shaving cream into a container. It might get stuck in there. Then fill a one third cup almost to the top with glue. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't get glue on your parents' table. Almost to the top. Then add the glow-in-the-dark paint to fill this all the way up. It's bright! Stir it up. You're mixing that glue with the glow-in-the-dark paint because this is what's going to make it stick to our moon. One guess what we do next. Dump it in. Add it to the shaving cream. And stir it all together. We're making our own puffy paint. So once you get it mixed all together, we're gonna paint our moon. I'm gonna start with my full moon. And you just dab it on because the moon's surface has craters and bumps and all sorts of stuff, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Fun fact, since there isn't any air on the moon, there is no wind to change the surface, which means that the astronauts' footprints from when they landed more than 50 years ago are still there on the moon. Get it nice and puffy because you want it to look like the moon's surface. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Should I do the rest of mine now? Let's go. Okay, now we have a situation. Anybody have a towel? Oh, thanks! <laughs> so, the next step in this space race is to be patient because we need to let all of these dry overnight. Okay, so now we're back. These have dried overnight. They have a nice glowy look to them. And check this out. The paint has dried into a puffy surface. It's not sticky. It's really soft. We've got our crescent, our full moon, and our half moon. Do you think we should find out if these really glow or not? Let's try it. Ta-da! in the dark. You gotta keep it exposed to light for a long time, but then it does begin to glow when you turn the lights out. That was so cool! Project Apollo is often considered the most impressive technological feat in human history. Now, I do have a little bit of a surprise. Remember in the beginning, I said there were six American flags on the moon? Guess what I found? Six toothpicks with American flags. Should we put these on our moon? I think we should. Here we go, six American flags on the moon. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Are we able to turn the lights off again? Bye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.